table tennis, also known as ping pong, and whiff waff is a sport where players use light paddle rackets to hit a lightweight ball across a net on a table. All you need are paddles, a ball, and a table. But what if I don't have a ping pong table? But luckily with this handy contraption, I can transform my dining table into a table tennis table. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, you also need another player. But not to worry, because with the wall, you can just as easily play with yourself. Alright, maybe it's not that easy. But what if there was a table tennis wall that always hit it back to you? Basically a couple months ago, the channel Stuff Made Here made a video where he built a basketball backboard that always goes in no matter what type of shot. Now obviously, this is a super tough task, and as you can tell from any of my other videos, I'm not that smart. Hey guys, it's me editing this video. I just want to say that I kind of messed up here. Obviously, I'm an absolute genius, but anyways, back to the video. But with a larger target area and more room for error, I think I can apply this same concept to a sort of a tennis wall application. To find the shape and the measurement of the backboard, Stuff Made Here programmed a Monte Carlo simulation, where you have millions of random attempts on the backboard and slightly change the, the angle to accommodate each attempt so that it goes in until the backboard is optimized. However, I did something slightly different. So in Stuff Made Here's video, he explains why the backboard ends up resembling this sort of curved shape. So I translated that shape and concept onto our tennis wall, as you can see with this cat. In all the spots above where the, where the table tennis net would be, you can see how the wall kind of angles the ball towards the center or where the table would be. Now all I need to do is find the radius of these curves. Basically, in my program, I iterated through different combinations of radii and did around a million attempts for each combination. For each attempt, I calculated the landing spot given random incoming angles and a random spot on the wall. I also determined whether or not the ball would actually land on the table if it was there. At the end, I tallied up all of the attempts and chose the combination of radii that resulted in the most successful attempts. All right, so after running the simulation, I concluded that the radius of the curve that's visible from the top down is gonna be 4.4 meters, and then the side curve is gonna be 1.2 meters. So what you're watching right now is me struggling to make a scaled down cardboard prototype of this wall. Just for some reference, I'm basically doing this technique where you cut slits in a piece of cardboard so that it bends along those lines. Then I cut out a curve on another piece of cardboard and curve the bendy piece in order to fit into the curved cardboard piece. In Stuff Made Here's video, he actually builds a full-size backboard, but I have neither the equipment nor the skill to do that. So I made this instead. Hey, feeling good, like I should. When in the blue, walk around the neighborhood. Feeling blessed, never stressed. Got that sunshine on my Sunday bed. All right, so the building was really simple just two motor thingies and two roller thingies on the legs of the table, and then a USB webcam for the vision. But the tracking was pretty fun. I basically used a very similar algorithm to my air hockey robot, but if you haven't seen that, I'll quickly explain. So basically, the program searches for the white pixels for in each frame of the video, and then identifies little blobs of pixels. It finds the position and the size of the largest such blob, and this is all written in C-sharp. At first, I programmed it to move backward when the size of the ball increased or when the ball was moving closer, but 
but that was absolutely useless and it hardly made a difference. Instead, I wanted the wall to angle the ball towards the center. So when the X position changes, the wall turns itself to accommodate it. Now here's my dad, who's a self-proclaimed table tennis master, trying out the wall. Basically, it doesn't really make much of a difference when the ball's hit down the middle, but when the ball gets, starts getting hit to either side, you can see how the wall kind of directs the ball towards the center of the table, making it much easier to hit. Now I know what you're all thinking, how do I buy this amazing masterpiece? But don't you worry, because it's going to be in all Urban Outfitters across the country by at least 2021. At least that's what they told me on the phone anyway. Quality. Craftsmanship. Perfection. These words have nothing to do with the product, but they sound cool and classy. Introducing the all new useless robotic table. You decide. Now in stores all across the nation. And by nation, I mean my house. If you don't like that, then you can go suck it.